Well, you, you have a rich tapestry of experience and you've been doing this with companies today. So can you give um, any examples that, you know, you may not be able to name names, but where where they've got it right and kind of maybe a peek at how they do it? How do they go from maybe being disconnected and walk that journey of becoming really partners uh, arm in arm in the sales process? Yeah. I mean, a, a great example that I was, I was talking to um, a client the other day, uh, actually, who's gone through this process and done an amazing job of it, actually. But the, the, the marketing leadership there um, has been around that business now for 20, 25 years and ha- is well respected, understands the sales point of view, um, really works hand in glove with his sales counterpart. And that is absolutely front and center part of the, the, the success that they have. They've then also entirely agreed this is effectively the order of service as to how we get from unknown to known to suspect to prospect to pipeline to deal to close. And they've mapped all of that out and they know who has responsibility for each part of that value chain. And they're very, very clear that the benefit that each part of that process delivers to the next part. And I think that's part of how they've been so, so, so successful. And what's really interesting is that they've also done this alignment, not just around sales and marketing as functions, but sales and marketing technology stacks, mm. which I think is another really interesting facet because oftentimes in organizations, uh, sales will own something like the CRM because that's the sales tool. And then there will be a separate marketing tool that owns another view of your customer yeah. about how we contact them and how we talk to them. And the two aren't aligned. So people don't even know who's been contacted in various different organizations that they are trying to tap into at any given point in time. <laughs>